Today's a great day because we're announcing our positive results from a phase three study that studied the efficacy of a COVID-19 vaccine. And that COVID-19 vaccine was produced in plants, a new technology. That study was conducted at a time where variants were circulating heavily. So we have uh, seen many cases of variants and actually in our efficacy uh, analysis, we have not seen any case of the original uh, strain of COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2. Uh, and so the results show that the vaccine is efficacious against all of those variants that we have observed during the study. These results show that the vaccine is efficacious. So they, they show that our vaccine, we have to say that we've developed that technology for 20 years now. And so over the last two years, we've developed the COVID-19 vaccine. And these results show that the, the plant-based platform that we have used to produce the vaccine can produce efficacious vaccine. If approved by the authorities, this vaccine will be the first plant-based vaccine to be used in humans. We're, we're very proud because this is not only the first plant-produced vaccine to be used in human if approved by the authorities, but it will also be the first vaccine to be uh, developed in Canada and to be delivered to Canadians. So we currently have uh, an agreement with Canada and as soon as we get the um, approval from health authorities, we will initiate deliveries of the doses to Canadians. It's important first for, for, the, for the fight against this uh, pandemic that we currently are living through. But the other aspect is that it's part of a pandemic plan. So uh, this shows our capacity to respond to a pandemic uh, when it occurs. So that, that's very important because we also have, uh, we're con currently uh, uh, constructing a facility in Canada, in Quebec actually, that will give us the capacity to produce billion a billion doses of pandemic vaccine when needed. We're using a technology from plants that takes us only days to produce the vaccine from the moment we have the sequence in hands. So for a new virus, for example, once we have the sequence, in 19 days, we've shown that we can produce uh, a first research grade uh, um, virus-like particle, which is the, the structure of the vaccine that we're using or the, or, or the vaccine technology we're using. And so then from there, we can continue with the development. And that's what we did for the COVID-19 vaccine development. Early in 2020, we did produce the uh, virus-like particle of SARS-CoV-2. And then we went through the clinical development up to today where we are. With the years of experience with influenza, where strain change was part of our routine, we're applying now this routine to the strain change for COVID-19. And in the case of Omicron, for example, where we're currently evaluating the cross-reactivity of the antibodies raised by our vaccine, our current vaccine against Omicron, but we've also taken action to be ready in case a strain change is needed in face of Omicron. There's a need for booster that we see now more and more. And in the case of Omicron, there, there is a demonstration of that that is coming. Uh, our role is to uh, deliver our vaccines to Canada. So the government of Canada will decide how to use those doses. But we know that not only there is a need for booster in the countries where uh, primary series of vaccination has been completed or is about to be completed, but there's also a need worldwide for more vaccines. And our vaccine is uh, stable at refrigerator temperature, two to eight. So that's an advantage for uh, long distance transportation. We're preparing our submission for the rolling review. Uh, we're planning to uh, file our dossier uh, before the end of this year, and then it will be under review by Health Canada. Other plans include the booster study. So we're planning early next year, a booster study where we will evaluate our vaccine as a booster uh, over other technologies of vaccine so that we can demonstrate the efficacy and the safety of this vaccine as a booster as well.